Welcome to Jersey Line. It's the start of a new football season. I'm here to help you win a few bucks, help you pay your rent, help you pay your car payments, or maybe just help you lose it all. Remember, bet with your head, don't bet over it. If you got a gambling addiction, you shouldn't be betting football. But we do have services for that. And over in the Meadowlands Racetrack, they got the um, FanDuel. They got a nice lounge there, all the TVs, all the games. You can make your bets right there, but again, bet with your head. And bet with me. We did okay last year. All right, we started off, we got Thursday as the season open, a one, the 100th year of the NFL. And who do we have? Two of the oldest teams in the NFL, the Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers. You got Chicago at home versus Green Bay. Chicago is minus three. I'm taking the Bears. Minus three, I think Trubisky, I think they got a Super Bowl team there in Chicago. If Trubisky can just bring it up one level. We all know Aaron Rodgers. I think he got a little rebuilding going on there. He got a new coach and all in Green Bay. Some, some controversy with the coach and Rodgers. 1 p.m., we got the Minnesota Vikings at home versus the Atlanta Falcons. This is Atlanta's season. They have to proceed and make the playoffs and go deep. Or, you know, eventually that window is going to close. But I'm going to take Minnesota. No, no, I'm not taking Minnesota. I'm taking Atlanta. I'm taking Atlanta minus four. I almost read that wrong. Atlanta minus four. Not big on Kirk Cousins. All right, uh, 1 p.m. game again Sunday. It's the Philadelphia Eagles. They're at home versus their nemesis. The Washington Redskins, the Eagles are favored, minus nine and a half. I'm taking the Redskins. The Redskins are dysfunctional. But that's a lot of points in the beginning of the season against a division rival. Take the Redskins getting nine and a half. The Jetsies. A lot of enthusiasm, a lot of high hopes for the Jetsies this season. The Jetsies are at home. They're favored. Uh, over Buffalo, minus three. I am taking them Jetsies, and I'm giving the Buffaloians three. I think the Josh Allen kids got a good future, but I don't think it's t this Sunday. Also, 1 p.m., you got Baltimore versus the tanking Dolphins. The Dolphins have traded everybody, and they're starting Fitzpatrick. That's all you need to know. Take the Ravens, giving six and a half. Dolphins are already in tank mood. Tampa Bay, they're home. You got the new coach out there uh, versus San Francisco. Their quarterback is back. Their Foley is back. I'm going to take the Frisco, and I'm getting one point. Again, Tampa Bay is at home versus San Francisco. I'm taking Frisco minus, uh, plus one. Kansas City, where everybody's picked for the Super Bowl this year with Mahomes, son of an ex-Med pitcher, at Jacksonville. If you remember last year, Jacksonville started off good. They were the points sweethearts. So they would cover. Now they got Foles, who is a lifetime backup quarterback. We got to see how this works out. He came over from the Eagles. Remember, he won the Super Bowl with the Eagles. I'm going to go with Jacksonville getting four and a half versus KC. Tough one, but that Jacksonville defense is still there. Everybody's favorite, the darlings of the NFL. The Cleveland Browns are favored over the Tennessee Titans by five and a half. I'm going to take them Tennessee Titans getting five and a half points. L.A. Rams, interesting year after last season. They're at Carolina. I'm going to go with Newton. I'm going to take Carolina at home getting three points. Detroit, the Lions, if they're ever going to have a successful season, it's going to have to be this year. They're at Arizona. Arizona's starting the kid. Murray, I don't think the kid is ready for this yet. I think it's almost like they're going to run a run-and-shoot offense there in Arizona. It'd be interesting to watch. I'm going to take the Lions giving two and a half points. Seattle at home. They just got made a big trade for some defensive help. They are favored by nine and a half versus Cincinnati. Cincinnati is not a bad team. New coach there. They got a solid team. I'm taking them Cincinnati Bengals. I'm getting nine and a half points. For that matter, it's my lock of the week. L.A. Chargers are at home versus 
The Indianapolis Colts, we all know what happened when Andrew Luck, he retired. You can't blame the kid. He was constantly rehabbing. He just got sick of rehabbing. It's not like the old days. This kid was rich. He didn't have to go through rehabbing anymore. A team that could possibly spiral into uh, tank mode with the Dolphins. Pissette isn't bad. I don't think he's going to take you to the playoff. I'm going to take the Chargers, giving Indy six and a half points. Dallas is home versus my New York football giants. I'm going to take them football giants. They just signed Elliott, Ezekiel Elliott. He just, I don't think he's going to play in the first week. I, I, I think there's a lot of dysfunction in Dallas. If they get off to a bad start, it's going to be fireworks. I'm taking Eli Manning and the New York football giants getting seven points. Sunday, the late game, it's the Brady boys versus Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh always plays New England tough. And I think Ben's going to be up for it. I'm going to take the Pittsburgh Steelers visiting the New England Patriots. Pittsburgh getting six points. Monday night, Drew Brees and the boys are back. They are home versus Houston. New Orleans is giving seven points to Houston. I'm going to give those seven points. I'm taking the New Orleans Saints minus seven. Also, we got two Monday night games. You got Oakland. Who you talk about dysfunction in football? It's the Oakland Raiders. John Gruden. Well, they, 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 they went out. They did a lot of trades. They did some signing. You know, they got Brown at wide receiver. He's wearing a new helmet. It's a pick'em. Take the Oakland Raiders in this one. I think Gruden may now have the team going in the right direction. I'm going to take Oakland versus Denver. You got Flacco at Denver. I think he's got some gas in the tank yet. But I'm going to go with Oakland. It's a pick'em. Again, bet with your head. Don't bet over it. Don't bet the rent. Good luck. I'll see you next week.